Uh, well, I want to explain what it is I do. Uh, my name is Tom Britton, and for lack of a better term, I am a fire-eating science clown. <laughs> Which means I perform a, a very sort of loose STEM education show. Picture a TED Talk with more dick jokes. That's me. <laughs> so I wanted to bring something right off the bat that I, I'm, I'm hoping you will enjoy. I am a fire-eating science clown, and fire-eating is science. We have tonight no less than two amazing magicians on the bill. I am not the third. Now don't get me wrong, if you're a magician and they host an amazing magic show here every Thursday, I'm not shitting on your art form. I absolutely love magicians. I do. I'm just not one. And if you think that a science demonstration is a magic trick, then I've kind of wasted my time explaining it to you. <laughs> so just a bit of separation from my art form. I am not a magician. I am a dork. <laughs> So I thought I would, I would explain to you how fire eating works. It's, it's not that complicated. There's a weird confession. Fire eating's not that hard. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> it's not that hard if you're willing to be burned. I guess I should say, small caveat. You won't get, okay, this is a phrase I learned from a coach in high school. Are you hurt or are you injured? <laughs> there, right? So you fall down, okay, are you hurt or are you injured? Do you need an ambulance or you need to walk it off? Tell me what you need, right? <laughs> And that's what I mean by hurt. There's a small amount of pain, it's a specific point of pain. But all you're doing with fire eating is playing with the oxygen, one of the elements. The fire needs to eat to survive, it needs to breathe just like you. So if you can deny the flame, the oxygen it needs to survive, yes it hurt, but I am not injured. I will not suffer from this tomorrow, nor even five minutes from now. That's the difference. I have nothing to hide. Once you understand, oh thank you, once, <laughs> Hang on, wait, it gets cooler. <laughs> if you like fisting, wait till you see it in my face. <laughs> they also hate us for our dirty jokes. <laughs> okay, the same principle, but now I'm going to extinguish in my mouth. Hang on, I'm just checking for smoke alarms. <laughs> I'm joking, don't worry, front row. <laughs> Panicked everyone who hasn't seen my act before. The same idea, all I'm doing is closing my mouth and denying the fire the oxygen it needs. This is the same thing, just you know, with more panache. <laughs> I wanna show you one more thing. This takes a little bit of explanation. You can also play with the fumes of the fire. I swear to God, this is the term. If you understand the concept of humidity, that is water, this is really the word, impregnating the air around you. I know it just scared all the 20-something women in the audience. I said the word impregnate. <laughs> Not that kind of show, hang on. So what happens is, as this burns, imagine droplets of unburned oil joining the air surrounding it. The fumes that come off can be ignited and will be in just a moment. What I'm going to do is this, I ask you to pretend with me that's a lit torch, pretend further, this is my mouth, my face pointed upwards. Same thing almost, lit torch goes in, I am not eating fire, I'm not going to close my mouth, it'll go in lit, it'll come out still lit, why? I want to build up a pocket of fumes. These fumes are the impregnated oil from the torch that did not burn, trapped in the air cavity that is my face. As I pull out the torch and shift my embouchure slightly, I send the fuel up and it ignites off the still lit torch. This means my face is now lit on fire. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> as long as you've lit your face on fire, have some fun with it. What I'll try is three things. One, light my face on fire. Two, light a torch off my face. And then three, my absolute favorite from the canon of the fire eater from the 1700s, when the name made a bit more sense, they called it the human candelabra. <laughs> what you want to look for are three distinctive points of flame. If you are a nerd and taking notes, this is a slightly more advanced technique Practice a few times at home before you show your friends. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> Safety's not even like top 20 for me. <laughs> a snazzy suit first, then like safeties down the line.